Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ophelia Ofe, and if you are new to this channel, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. For those of you that have already subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to me. This channel is starting to grow slow but sure, but we will get there. So please uh, do subscribe, do comment, and do let me know how I'm doing, okay? So, um, today's video, I just wanted to share a blast from the past. Um, I went to Ghana and I took a trip from Accra to the western region of Ghana to a small town called Benin. It is in the Nzuma area and as you know, I am in Zuma. So yeah, we had a little family trip out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the video with you guys and um, just share that experience. And yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think, comment down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get all the information I have to share. Stay tuned. <music> to climb down the stairs outside anymore. That's cool. I'm excited about this. Okay. I'm tired, y'all. Anyway, let me get through all this and settle and I will come back with another video. Good morning. I am in Ghana and I'm having my first meal of the day, which is Like I said, watchy. I'm having watchy. I can't wait to eat. We'll talk later. Chop time, no friend. It's been a wonderful day at the Mobin Pick. We spent our Sunday swimming today. It's like a family reunion over here on my end. I have my aunt and my uncle we haven't seen in years. Basically, my mom's siblings. Um, and their children so we're leaving now and hopefully we get to see them sooner rather than later hey guys today we're going to Benin in the western region of Ghana so it's a little family tour that we're taking um, I'm from the western region of Ghana. My mom is in Zima from Isiama, so we're going around that area. Um, and I'll get to, you know, basically visit my mom's hometown and see what's out there and learn more about Nzimas. Um, Nzimas are a camp people as well. So hopefully I'm able to learn my Nzima language. Like I said in one video, that is one of the hardest languages for me to learn. But yeah, we just set off where it's a road trip. It's gonna take about six hours from Accra. And we just left at about nine o'clock and literally just passing up um, Kaswa. So we have quite some way to go. So I'll be in and out just videoing what I see that's interesting along the way.
little over two hours on this road trip and we are taking our first rest at the Elmina Highway rest stop. I'm so tired guys. I'm so tired. Just sitting in the car. I'm ready to get out, stretch my legs. But so far it's been a very nice journey. I love that beach drive. It's like a very long beach drive. So peaceful, so calm. Just looking at it. Uncle Joe. Yes. Uncle Joe is driving us to where are we going? Benin in the Western region. And how long has the journey been so far? Two two hours. Two hours. Mommy said two hours. Two more hours. We're in Takarade right now, yes. so we have two more hours to go. Yes. Is it a long journey for you or Mm, it's a long journey. Mm. Long journey. All right, he's driving us all the way to the um, Accra. I've known Uncle Joe since I was very, very little. Very, very little. So. Ah, it's hot in Ghana. Oh. That's what my mom ordered. And it's good. This is mine right here. Yeah, I got Franco and tilapia. Nuggets and rice. Nuggets. Yes, yes, I ordered that one. Fried rice and chicken. That's and the nuggets. chicken. No, there's fried rice and with chicken. chicken. Yes, and that's jollof and chicken. And then that's two extra ones. But she got. It, no, so I'm gonna uh, chicken nuggets. The chicken nuggets is full. Yes. Yes, yes. that's what I'm doing. my hands. This is the first time to be a so relaxed. Chop time, no friend. I'm gonna add all these sauces. Well, we'll let the lady take when you come. No, we have um, red pepper and chito. I'm hungry. The food was really good. Mom, how do I say the food was really good in Nzuma? Aliene. 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 <laughs> if this was tree, I would say Adriana no yet de papa. But in the mother they'll say Aliel Aliane I'll get Seaman to tell me exactly how I say it. Seaman. Seaman. I want to say the food is good in Enzima. How do I say that? The food is good. In Enzima, Alien in the Pale, Ole Pale. Okay, there's too many like dialects going on. Look, see the family, they are figuring it out. If you are in Zima, tell us exactly how to say the food is good in your dialect. Comment below and let us know, okay? Because we have like three different dialects going on right now. So let me know in your dialect how you say the food is good in Enzima. This is the night view of the Maha. Gina. Yes, sister. Can you say something? Oh, we came to hide. Oh. Gina, you're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my cousin, y'all. So excited to see her. <laughs> but the sad thing is, she doesn't even understand in Zima. I understand in Nichi Nichi. In Nichi Nichi. Small, small. In Nichi Nichi. But Trina, dear, what's your Yeah. She, she, madam. Tree, madam. That one, she's my, she's my tree instructor. I, I try to speak tree with her. I don't speak tree when I go out because I get shy because I know it's not right. But I speak it with her and she'll correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. 
And when she speaks English and she says something wrong, I try to correct her. So, you know, we work together. Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> chow girl. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, this is day one at the Tenak Beach Resort. And like I said, I'm out here on like a mini vacation with my family. Um, so, I got myself together and I'm out now. Good morning, Valley. Lovely. Say hi. It's a video. Say hi. Family just together. This is my view right here. Cheese, say cheese. Okay, okay, if you don't want to take it, it's okay. Get up, Julia. Get up. So guys, this is the beginning of my journey to Ghana. Um I've been thinking about coming to Ghana for a while. Uh, my family is from Ghana, and I've been to Ghana quite a few times. Like I said, I grew up here when I was really young. Uh, I had the opportunity to come to school out here. So it's not new to me. However, I have been living in the United States for quite some time, and it's just, it's just that time to come back home. So definitely working on that, it's not an easy process. You have to have things in place and definitely have a plan. Um, right now we're actually building not far from here. And it's very important to come and check on your projects. If you have a project going on and you are living abroad, please take time to check on your projects. Don't just sit there and expect that everything will go right because you need to be involved heavily by being present. Your presence is required and needed for a successful transition. So that's where I am right now. Um, just kind of seeing what's happening and making sure everything is going as planned as I wanted it to be. Um, yeah, so that's just a morning chit chat with you guys, just sharing what's going on. Uh, we do have a full day planned today, so I will keep um, the videos coming and let you know what's happening. This morning, I see the fishermen are getting ready. Actually, no, they've gone out fishing already, so they're pulling their canoes in as you can see it's pretty far out I'm using my phone guys so bear with me I'm trying to get as much as possible I'm not there yet I don't have the camera crews and all that stuff in due time it will come here's a little children's playground I have a lot of kids here with us um, and the pool being cleaned out this early morning so it's a beautiful day and we're ready to go have our breakfast and I will be back if you are interested in knowing more about coming to Ghana please don't forget to comment like and subscribe put your questions down below I'll be more than happy to answer as much as possible um, the questions that you have um, so yeah what you doing Zimri what are you doing? Cheese. I'm not taking a picture. Give me that. Be careful, don't fall.
We're back at the Maha for breakfast. It's a breakfast buffet, so it's time to eat. I'm hungry. Let's see what they have at the buffet. It's a pretty cool setup. Good morning. Very friendly staff. Let's see what they have. Cereal. Okay. I'm really enjoying this natural mixed fruit drinks with a combination of uh, a variety of fruits that are locally grown and squeezed. It's so good. So good. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome Thank to my you. house. <laughs> What's your name? We are all Veronica. We're all Veronica. Okay, this We're is interesting Veronica. because all three of these ladies <laughs> are Veronica. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to call them Veronica. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, and three. three. <laughs> so Veronica is going to give us a tour yeah. over here. Here is our facial room. Yeah. And this is called a steamer. It's called steamer. Okay. Yeah. Steamer. And these are the products that you use for the steamer. Okay. Yeah. And this is the wash. And this is the whole stone bowl. There are stones in it. Awesome. Whole stone. And this is our facial bed. So you're now moving to the pedicure and manicure room. Okay. Here the pedicure and manicure room. Here the pedicure chair. Come on, come on, sit So I can feel it. <laughs> massage. Oh, it massages? Yeah, massage. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Your butt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, your back. Oh. Very relaxing, huh? Very. Your butt will not fall asleep for sure. <laughs> Cause it's really good on this side. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Veronica, I like that chair. Oh yeah. So we're now moving to the massage room. Mm -hmm. Do the massage room. Oh, cool. Bed for two couples. So this is for couples. Yes. And this is a jacuzzi. So hey. do you do that before or after? Hey, before. Before. Okay. This is a massage room. It's nice. Mm -hmm. So you move on to the gym. Our small gym. They have a gym as well. Yeah. It's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time.
had a good time at the Maha. Zimmery, you having a good time at the Maha? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. You ready to go now? Yeah. All right, we're going home. Yeah. And with the seashell. And you're going home with the seashell. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, the kids have a place to play at. Take a walk with me down to the beach. Finally, I get to relax. It's been a crazy day. Had so much going on. Uh, meeting up with uh, our NGO, West Coast Women's Ambassadors. And now we get to relax and just take a look at this. Look at this, y'all. This is Ghana. This is Benin in the Western region of Ghana. This is home. Speaking of home, what can we do for those of us that are looking to relocate that is the question of the day. So, there's been a lot of planning, a lot of talk, a lot of chit chat, just how to get started, how to, how to start the transition. Um, for one, there's so many languages in Ghana. And in this part of Ghana, the Western region, they have, um, they're mostly Akans. They speak Fancy, Tree, and then on this part of town, it's um, in Zima. Working on my Zima a lot right now in Dichi, in Dichi. That means a little bit, small, small. So, um, I've been thinking about coming to Ghana for a while now. It's been, it's been on my mind for a very, very long time. But getting started, has been quite a challenge. I, I come often, I go on vacation most of the time, I come visit my family most of the time, but just to get up and move has, has been a challenge. Um, however, this time is it can be done. So I have to look into so many things. For one, business ideas. What exactly will I do in Ghana? There's so much going on. You just have to basically come out here and see what it is that you can do to help better the country or add to the continent on whatever initiatives or projects that's going on. I find that a lot of people do come to Africa to invest. A lot. A lot of nationalities, a lot of races. Um, it's interesting. I'm more passionate about um, my race as well. The African Americans, back home in the United States. Um, if you're thinking about coming to Ghana and just don't know where to start, just know for starters, this is home. It is home if you are interested and ready to develop and be part of a growing nation, a developing nation. Um, Ghana has definitely changed within the past 20 years um, that I've been back and forth. It is not the same Ghana that I met as a kid. Um, but yeah, I have been in the States for a very long time and when I do come, I see a lot of projects going on, mostly um, Italians, Chinese, British, everybody but my fellow African Americans. So it's time for us to kind of get together, y'all. Let's bring our ideas, get together, and build 
our home. Most of us are not home because we don't know where to go. And it's like, okay, well, come home. Well, where, where do we start? Where do we go? So for those of us that are here, it's time to develop, time to build so we can have a place to go, stay, and, and to bring our ideas, our talents, and build our nation all together we're one Africa. I strongly believe in that. We are one Africa. Um, the borders is not going to change anything. We have borders, yes, but it's still one Africa. Um, so yeah, let's talk. Give me your ideas and let's talk. Let's, let's get this done, guys. Let's start making Africa home again. Okay, let's chit chat, comment. There you have it, guys. So that was my journey in the western region of Ghana so I really hope you liked this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please do like comment and don't forget to subscribe guys and hit the notification bell button but yeah let me know um which part of Ghana have you been to which part of Ghana would you like to go to which part of Ghana would you like to visit outside of Accra um comment down below let me know how I'm doing um and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.